Today, we will be unboxing and reviewing the Lark self-cleaning water bottle. This is not a sponsored video. One of my parents got this as a Christmas gift from their work. I am excited about this bottle because it purifies the water inside the bottle by killing the viruses and bacteria in the water. This bottle is also mercury and plastic free. This bottle also does not need filter replacement and has a long lasting battery. Hmm, you must wonder how the bottle purifies the water without a filter or why it uses a battery. Well, to answer both our questions, this is the world's first portable digital self-cleaning water purifier. So to purify the water, the bottle uses UVC LED light emitters. The, the lights are on the bottom of the cap facing towards the inside of the bottle and charges using the means of a lithium ion battery also stored inside the cap. And for this one, the good thing is the UVC light runs on a battery that you don't need to change. It's a rechargeable battery and uses a USB port to charge. And depending on your use, it typically lasts one to two months per charge. Also, according to the package, it says here, this is a Red Dot Design Award winner of 2019. Also, it says here 1% for the planet. It says a portion of the proceeds go to our charity partner, 1% for the planet, to benefit the environment and bring safe drinking water to billions. And I think that's a good cause to support. Let me unbox this and show you what's inside the package. We didn't get to choose the color of the bottle, but the bottle, the box says that this is a Monaco blue color and can hold 25 ounces. Then you open it and ta-da! Here you have it, the Lark self-cleaning water bottle. Here we have the user manual and, and light settings. Finally, here we have the micro USB charger. So a concern I have is how short the USB charger is. That's it. I guess when they designed this, they were expecting you to plug this into the computer and plug it into the bottle so you could charge it and work on the computer. So, but that's not always the case. Also, another thing is the bottle doesn't come charged right out of the pack. Another thing is try cleaning the outside and inside of the bottle before first use. You know, just for safety reasons, like you do with any other th other thing you bring into the house. When you're cleaning, follow that way that the user manual instructs you to clean it. Be careful with the bottle cap because, as I mentioned earlier, the LED UVC LED light emitters. The battery and the sensors are all in the cap, so just be careful when you're cleaning the cap. Do you see that tiny little charger port up here? That's where you take this charger and plug it in to charge the bottle. So let's plug the bottle in and let's see what happens. A plug in. It, appear, it appears the ring is glowing. Okay, so... According to the um, user manual, it says here, this kind of light is called a breathing green light. And this means the ball is charging. A steady green light means the ball is fully charged. A flashing green light means it's low on battery. A red pulsing light is, means, oh no, something is wrong with the battery. So another cool thing is you can unscrew the cap and it will still charge, see? The cap is still charging, but the ball is not on. So this is really useful if you want to just charge the cap, but you want to have another use for the ball, so you're still, you want to wash the ball while the cap is charging. This is a very useful feature. Being in the cap, let's show you the features. Here you have the basic things. So this little tube here is the battery. This is a light. This, this is the UVC LED light emitter. So this is the one that purifies the water inside the bottle. 
I'm gonna charge the battery and I'll show you all the mo cool modes we have. Okay, so this little engraved marking shows the button which you, you can use to turn start, stop, and set various purification modes. So to turn on normal mode, you press this button once and then for 60 second cycle, you'll have a breathing blue sky blue light like the one right now. So to turn on adventure mode, you press this button twice. Regular blue light means that adventure mode is on. To turn it off, again, just press the button. The website recommends you use the adventure mode when you're getting water from things like a river. Just make sure that there's no debris in there because remember, this only purifies, it doesn't filter. And for safety mode, if you take if you take the cap off, then turn it on. This steady orange light means that the bottle is not connected to the cap, so the purification process will not turn on. If it starts pulsing orange, then that means something is wrong with the temperature. For self-cleaning mode, it does it automatically every two hours. It will intelligently activate self-cleaning mode, a 10 second cycle with the same breathing sky blue light as when normal mode is activated. And the next setting is the travel lock. So when you're traveling, you don't want to accidentally press this button and unnecessarily use the battery. So there's a setting for that. It's called travel lock. So you press the button and hold for five seconds and when that light shows, then that means the travel lock is on and it will start, stop self-cleaning mode for travel or storage. This bottle is a great gift because after the pandemic, we are just gonna travel, so much travel. I have two things on my list to improve for this. One, a longer USB cable, which I might reuse from one of my other cables and a sleeve so I, with a handle so I can connect it to my backpack or anything I need to connect it to. One question I have is, how does the UVC LED light kill the bacteria and viruses? I will make another video dedicated to explaining how the UVC LED light works, the technology behind it, and how it purifies the water. I hope you enjoyed this product review. That's all for now. Please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Bye!